the know, I'm Meg Turney. And I'm what's left of Ryan Haywood. <laughs> Isaac Ike Perlmutter, the CEO of Marvel, is getting sued once again, only this time it doesn't have anything to do with his workplace conduct. Yeah, the man who almost single-handedly pulled Marvel from the brink of disaster has had his fair share of legal disputes, but his newest one is more bizarre than the rest and may have some business implications for Marvel. The lawsuit filed in 2013 will have a hearing this week which determines whether or not some of Perlmutter's corporate emails will be made public. That's kind of a big deal, considering his position as the head of Marvel, and also the time he spends moonlighting as a crazy person. <laughs> but more on that later. But will we find out if he had anything to do with Benghazi? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we've got to hit the origin story of the lawsuit first. The suit was filed by Perlmutter's neighbor, and so far, the battle seems way more epic than any we saw in at least phase one of the Marvel movies. In the suit, a neighbor of Perlmutter's from a private Palm Beach neighborhood alleges that the CEO sent more than 1,000 pieces of hate mail to the defendant's family family and friends. The hate mail, which was made to look like it came from the defendant himself, falsely accused him of loathsome crimes including murder and sexual assault against a minor. And uh, other letters sent also claim that the defendant was a self-confessed child molester and homosexual pedophile, as well as a Nazi sympathizer who sought to commit murder and other violence against the Jewish people. Wow. Uh, apparently all this over a tennis club dispute for their private community. Yeah, that's not a joke. That's seriously the reason all this crap started. Look, tennis is serious business, all right? Apparently to rich people it is. Yeah, Perlmutter claims he doesn't have anything to do with this hate mail that's been sent out and his lawyers have tried to have the case dismissed to really no avail. A uh, big part of that has to do with the fact that Perlmutter's wife's DNA was matched to several of the letters. You're using DNA on letters now. Oh, maybe it's her. Oh, it's been her all along. Now, in order to snuff out the connection to Perlmutter, the defendant's lawyers are pushing for a search of his corporate emails by Marvel for any mention of the defendant. Marvel is not really a big fan of this idea for obvious reasons, and they've tried fighting the court order. All of this drama going on largely unreported until recently may have been a bit shocking for such a powerful CEO, but uh, this is kind of like old hat for Perlmutter. Yeah, this is the part of the story where we roll out the list of all the batshit crazy stuff that Ike Perlmutter has done. And believe us when we say that it's almost impossible to mention everything. If Perlmutter was a superhero, his alter ego would be Cuckoo Banana Brains. Which is really saying something considering this man is worth $3.7 billion and is also the single largest Disney shareholder. He wields a rather significant amount of power in Hollywood, as you might have guessed, uh, which he's used with all the grace of a sledgehammer in recent years. So while we're not saying the allegations in the lawsuit about Perlmutter are probably true, they're certainly not surprising when you're at least a little bit familiar with the guy. Uh, calling him eccentric doesn't even begin to describe it. For starters, Perlmutter hasn't allowed himself to be photographed in the last 30 years years and famously wore a fake mustache, wig, and glasses to the premiere of Iron Man so nobody could take pictures of his face. Notoriously frugal, Perlmutter has developed a reputation in the business world and in Hollywood as something of a penny pincher. At one point, he stopped furnishing the Marvel offices with couches because of budgetary reasons, although he claimed it was to keep people from, you know, <laughs> on them. Well, I mean, you gotta casting couch, you know, no big deal. Over the years, he's also regularly been known to fire people just to see if they were important to the company. If things moved on without hiccups, he left the person unemployed. <laughs> nice. Perlmutter's budget-conscious ways have led to problems with the entire Avengers cast. Some were paid as little as $200,000 for the first movie, expecting more compensation on sequels, but Perlmutter didn't want to budge. For a time, he controlled every Marvel filmmaking decision in terms of budget, down to marketing. War Machine actor Terrence Howard in particular was replaced when Perlmutter didn't want to offer him more money for Iron Man 2. When asked about the change, Ike said nobody would notice because black people, and this is a direct quote, look the same. He's also responsible for Marvel basically having no female superhero toys because he hates female superheroes. On the other hand, we did get Don Chu. <laughs> it's true, John, Don Cheadle's amazing, but yeah. still. Cheadle. Cheetah. 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 Uh, those comments and more lead to a number of black female executives leaving Disney with additional lawsuits filed. He even allegedly told one of the women he had a bullet with her name on it. Good Jesus. The CEO also had issues with Robert Downey Jr., who requested a bigger role in the Civil War movie. Perlmutter was reportedly so angry that he ordered Iron Man to be written out of the script entirely until President Kevin Feige got him to see the bigger picture. And you know that Iron Man is sort of really important to Captain America versus Iron Man's whole story. Go figure. Uh, these fits with the uh, with the little out there behavior have led to Disney cutting Perlmutter out of the creative process completely. But all this pales in comparison to some of his more insane personal interactions with employees. 
which include rumors of straight up attacking former Marvel executive Eric Ellenbogen in the Marvel office after firing him. And then there was that time he allegedly told former editor-in-chief Bob Harris that if his kids turned out to be gay, he should probably kill them. Oh my, <laughs> so ridiculous reading all this. So uh, in actuality, writing some really weird letters to somebody would probably be one of the least aggressive things that Perlmutter has done. And who knows, we're probably missing something else like him owning a giant killer death robot factory off the coast of Cuba, or maybe him operating a mutant prison somewhere else in the world. He's the origin of the Sentinels. Yeah, he's, it makes sense now. He's a real, not nice person. Uh, I mean, honestly, at this point, nothing should really be surprising about the guy, except maybe for the fact that he's responsible for saving Marvel. Uh, when the company was right on the verge of collapse, it was Perlmutter who saved it with his all-in approach to Marvel films. We'll learn more about whether some of Perlmutter's emails go public as a result of this lawsuit very soon, but one thing we know for sure is that there's probably all sorts of wacky stuff going on in his inbox. And we're sure you'll be hearing about it, all about it on the know. What do you guys think of Marvel CEO's legit latest legal troubles? Uh, were you aware that the guy running Marvel might be a total uh, gun-carrying, disguised, unphotographed maniac on the loose? <laughs> For more information about crazy CEOs and upcoming Marvel news, like this video and subscribe to The Know. Uh, the suit was filed by Perlmutter's neighbor, and so far the battle seems more, way more epic than any that we saw in the least Let's just go back to the suit. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we've got to hit the origin of the story of the lawsuit first. The suit was filed by, by Perlmutter's neighbor it's and so blah, 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 blah. It's okay. I know. It's I hot sauce. It. It's my fault. The suit was filed by Ball. Ball. The suit was filed by Perl per Perlmutter's. <laughs> the suit was uh, Okay. Yeah. Perlmutter's budget conscious <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Perlmutter's budget consciousness weighs budget mm, 